Yeah. The public. Now we'll take the public examinations prevention and unfair means bill 2024. Dr. Jitendra Singh ji to move a motion for consideration of the public examinations prevention and unfair means bill 2024. Deputy Chairman sir with your kind permission I rise to move that the public examinations unfair means 2024 bill be taken up for consideration. Thank you Deputy Chairman sir. Mani Mantri ji sir kuch bolna chahenge aap? Let him speak, then the motion will be moved. Please. Aap kuch bolna is bill ke baare mein bata dhe. Please, please, briefly bata. Whatever the sense of the house. But I think, sir, because the sense is in favor of expediting it. So just a few sentences to say that this bill has already been passed in the lower house. Uh, we had an extensive discussion and uh, it uh, received support across the lines uh, regardless of uh, ideological leanings or other considerations. And now this uh, important bill has come to the upper house and since the upper house is also known to be the house of the elders, I am sure the elders will also bless it uh, with the same spirit and bless the resolve and the conviction with which this bill has been brought in. This legislation also happens to be, I think, the first of its kind in the history of Indian Parliament. And uh, maybe it is first of its kind also because uh, the founding fathers of the Constitution and the Penal Code may not have visualized that there would be one day a situation arising like this because this legislation seeks to address a very recent phenomena. It seeks to address an issue which has emerged in very recent times. And as you know, the government headed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi has always placed youth at a very high priority. And therefore, I think it is responsibility of each one of us. We have a huge stake in the youth of country who comprise more than 70% of the India's population. And therefore, none of us would like the vital youth energy and youth power to be sacrificed at the altar of uh, handful of selfish interests. So this bill essentially deals with those who tend to manipulate the examinations, be those the selection examinations for recruitment to government jobs, or be those the competitive examinations for higher educations. But at the outset, I also wish to make it very clear that the bona fide candidate or the student or the job aspirant has been kept out of the purview of this bill. So let not the message go that this is meant to harass a candidate or a bona fide candidate. This is only meant to serve as a deterrent against those who tend to cause injustice in the competitive processes. And for them, as, as of now, we did not have a specific law in place. So this unfair means law will make up for that deficiency because as I said, it was a recently emerged phenomena. And Time and again, we have been facing such uh, issues, such reports emanating from almost uh, 15 states and union territories of this country. We had three or four such scams successively happening in Rajasthan in the last three years. We had the police scam, we had the teacher selection scam, then we had a series of scams from West Bengal. I will get into detail of this later on. And uh, in order to, therefore, move in that direction to prevent this happening because it not only plays with the future of our youth. As I said, these are the youth who are going to be the architects of the new India in the next 20 years and who are also going to shape the face and destiny of India at 2047. So, and, at this, at, and there have been occasions when this has not only led to loss of uh, valuable merit, it has also caused huge amount of uh, disillusionment, frustration, disenchantment among the young students and their parents in the lower house. I was, I felt tempted to quote one of the suicide notes of a small child, class 12, who passed away a tragic, in a very tragic circumstances only about a few days back. And she left a note, Mommy, Papa, please forgive me. I can't do it. I am the worst daughter. And I'm sure none of us would ever wish that any of our children would have to face such a fate or go through that. So I think 
it is this bill in a single sentence is dedicated to the youth of this country to the students of the country to the young job aspirants of this country whom we hail as the builders of india that is to rise to the pedestal in the next two decades thank you deputy chairman sir dhanyawad motion moved ab mani sadasya is pe charcha karenge